Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Last time we played as Isaac, this time we are going to play as one of the new characters. We're going to play as Fiend. Fiend is a character that I don't particularly remember how he works. I remember he has something to do with mini Isaacs in a way. As we can see already, he has um, a stars card. Okay. Um, I'll take a stars card off the bat. That's that's pretty generous. Um, and he starts with some different hearts. One thing that I remember... Okay, these are some new enemies to me. Little fighting fellas. Ooh, we got a golden pill as well. Is that basically when this guy gets hit, his black hearts become familiars, as we can see here. And then once the room finishes, they become hearts again. And we have to pick them up, as you just saw. So we're going to mess around with this pill. Uh, clairvoyance is on what that does. We got a verf there that gave us another golden pill. I will be going incredibly hard on this. It's probably a bad idea. What the hell? Yeah, it's probably a bad idea, but I'm going to go really hard on these. Oh, cool. Spider unboxing. I found pills. Lemon party. Lemon juice, which is different, apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> X-lax. We got some new pill effects in here. That's cool. Um... Some of these I'm not understanding. Okay, we got, like, a little broken thing above our head. It only lasted the room. I'm not really sure what that was about. We seemed to lose some damage in, in all of that, I think. We gained uh, a wisp some, from somewhere. There's some stuff going on that I don't quite understand. But with this guy, getting hit's not always a bad thing is kind of the way, way it goes. You get some power through getting hit. But at the same time, he can be a pretty tough character. Okay, we're getting these little orbitals hover around us as we go. And for the question of the day today, what is your best food coma? Because I just had one. I was meant to record this good old fiend folio for a while today. I did one run. It was the one that you watched yesterday. I had a takeaway and I fell asleep <laughs> for like a considerable amount of time. And now I'm recording more after that. It was bliss. It was, it was truly... Truly a blessed sleep, but still, I didn't mean to sleep. Ooh, this is an interesting little room. Wow, that room quite literally took care of itself. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, wow. I just... Okay. Okay, that's cool. I, I was able to double tap to launch those. That was really, really cool. I kind of wish I'd have saved them for the boss now. Okay, I've got one for the boss. That must have been one of the pill effects that we got. Unless this is something to do with this character. I really don't know. But so far, we're doing very good on health and stuff. So I'm very happy about that. Um, let's try and launch one of these bad boys at the boss. There you go. Didn't do a ton of damage, but every little helps, I guess. And should be, to be fair, we can do one of them that does a considerable, considerable number on this guy. There you go. That's a really cool little effect there. I really like that. And then we get squeezy. Wow, we are doing so well on health. And it seems that any soul heart health that drops is going to be these slightly different hearts that we don't really know what they do. It's a little bit of a shame that we've already seemed to have... Um, uh, yeah, we've already seemed to have ruined the, the Fiend's aesthetic with our goofy face we've got going on here. I'm not quite sure what caused that, but hey her, it is what it is. But yeah, so as you did see the first time we got hit, this guy does take full heart damage initially. Okay, this is a, a room that, to me, looks like it could be very risky. So, what does this do? Kind of what I expected, to be honest. It blows up literally everything. And we're still getting these little wisps around us. Okay. So, that's going to be a chain reaction right there. I really like what they've done, theming-wise, with the... Um, oh, that's really cool. With the flaws on this game. With the, uh, like, burning basement in the cellar. With Fiendfolio, the, the theming... It was already kind of strong, but they've really driven it home. The theming is a lot better than it once was. Ooh, okay. We can get these sort of temporary fading hearts every now and again. And honestly, Glowing Hourglass is probably a very, very good one for us to grab here. I imagine these guys are going to, yeah, blow up into spreading fires. They bounce around quite a bit. They've got quite a lot of knockback. Okay. You have to be a little bit careful around them. Well... Ah, oh, I didn't get that one this time. Oh, these guys are these guys are moving quick. I think that's part of the new AI uh, from that other mod that I've got. And same with that dude blowing up there as well. We're going to see a lot of that. 
damn, we HP wise, this guy, I don't know if he got buffed or what, but they're giving him a lot more than he used to have. A hell of a lot more. Like I remember before this guy, I was having major, major struggles. This guy is about to be the most toast he's ever been in his damn life. That's so cool. I wonder if the fires have something to do with this character rather than the pills. And they're what are helping us spawn all these hearts. Um, host, <laughs> host on Toast. Uh, give me some damage up and give me some range up. Thank you for some Host on Toast. I think we'll take Angel Deal here. Um, although, actually, let's, let's at least hop in here and see what we've got. So, we've got Curse of Saturn. Can be used as long as you have more than zero charges. Prevents contact damage from enemies um, spawned by other enemies. Touching these enemies will deal flat 15 damage to them and charge the item. Shots fired um, on death will not deal damage. On use will fire a cluster of tears and burns depending on your charge. Interesting. Um, cyanide pills can appear, um, which provide a risky all stats up. Hmm. <laughs> I think we're gonna say no to both of those. The, the, the contact of one, damage one does sound pretty fun, but I don't think I'm willing to give up my power of having the glowing hourglass right now. The glowing hourglass seems like it's gonna be very, very valuable. And now, ooh, these guys have got quite the push to them. Uh, now we've got the angel deal intact. Oh, hello. That was rather nice. Okay. So, at the end of the floor, we'll be getting Dr. Fetus. Just make sure we have a key available. And we'll be getting Dr. Fetus. That's pretty darn good. In fact, with, uh, with the bomber synergy that we've got going on right now, it's... Ugh. I see why he gets a lot of health now. He drops all his health on the damn floor. I thought I, I thought he dropped like half a heart at a time. I didn't realize I was going to be... Oh, God. These guys have champions now? Oh, my God. No. No. They have champions now. Oh, Lord. Um, yeah, I didn't realize that was going to be the case with that. Whoa. What the hell's going on with this room? We got some centipedes that are chilling. We got a jumpy mushroomy boy who's chilling. We got a big mushroomy boy who's equally chilling. Who keeps like jumping on this guy and popping his spots. That's really cool. Okay. There's a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a shop going on in there. We really need to get more keys right now. These floppy fellas. I forgot about these dudes. Look at that. That's awesome. Whoa. They've got like iframes maybe? They are dead now. They are both dead now. Oh, we can't destroy rocks with them, unfortunately. God damn. These dudes are so much more deadly with the new um, the new way that these flies work. They have less health, definitely, but they are way more deadly. Okay, there's the keys we need, really. That puts us in a much better spot. We got... Oh, God. Both of them got soy milk. No. Go, my little Frick Fracks. God damn, we gotta be careful around those sort of things. Peeler duplex is spectral, so I'm, I'm liking that. Okay, let's not let's not get so braggy braggy about our HP anymore, because <clears throat> I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. Do these guys have like a group thing? Because they they both seem to get hurt there. Good. Check out this. Ooh, red stew would be very good right now. Let's see if we can uh, find a way to afford that. So many mushroom buddies. I love them. These guys are the ones that grow fat as, fat as hell heads. There you go. I don't know what they do with their fat heads. Okay, these are dropping spores around that are spawning little mushrooms that act like baby turrets. Need that. Yes, I got it. I got it. Okay. Good, good. Um, let's just defeat the boss now. Ooh, new boss, new boss. Slightly problematic boss for the uh, health bar mod, but no worries. 
This guy's tricky. Oh god. Oh god, I'm on half a heart already. What the hell? God diggity darn. Holy. Things can go so wrong so fast as this boy. <laughs> but that is why. That is why we have glowing hourglass. Right, let's make a way. I love these little wooden, uh, like, tree stumps. They're really cool. Right, so we need to go... First of all, I can open that now, which gives us um, shoot, shooting familiar uh, that moves like the player can be fired as a piercing projectile by double tapping. It takes a few seconds to reform after hitting a, gri uh, a grid. We'll stand um, if the drop button is held. Kind of nice. Glad to have you, fella. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, there you go, okay. Thank you. I just want to do one room before I go to the next floor here. Nice, that should return us to our real form now. We're a real boy. Plus three, summon three fireball wisps. Okay, this is quite the synergy that I've got here. Okay, that gives us three more fireballs. Nice. <clears throat> right, let's be on our way. I didn't think that every single shot we fired would be a blue bomber bomb. I thought that I thought like they were luck based now, but I ain't gonna say no to it. I'm just a little bit scared is all. By a little bit scared, I mean I'm absolutely terrified. The red stew is a hell yes. And we are Audi boys. Thank you. Let's be on our way. This is looking to be a pretty good fiend run so far by the looks of things. This is really shaping up to be something special. <laughs> I don't, by the way, if my little dudes fire bombs, we are burned. I don't know if they do, but if they do, we are burned to the burn. We do, of course, have to worry about the fact that um, it's very, very easy for us to hit ourselves currently. That guy is massive. Holy. But at the same time, there's, a, there's, there's basically a guarantee that we are going to one-shot almost every enemy we see. What is this guy doing? What is this little fella doing? Hello? A blue aura surrounds me. I don't know what to think of the blue aura. What do these woolly guys do? They're cool looking though, I really like them. There are some really interesting enemy designs in this, like... Some some ones that I, ha I wasn't expecting. Obviously, I knew like there'd be new enemies added to Repentance, but there's a lot and a lot of new ones. Not just... I thought it was mainly just going to be like all the ones from before, but then the repent. Just the um, ones for the Repentance exclusive alt path floor sort of thing. Familiar that chases enemies and deals contact damage. Yeah, yeah. Gimme, gimme. Ultra flesh kid. Come along, my children. Huzzah. Oh god, that's a lot of spiders. That's a lot of spoders right there. Oh, this guy's just like aimlessly swinging now. He's out with a vengeance. Hacking and slashing. Lemonheads. Go, my ultra flesh kid. <laughs> Take him on. Whoa, look at this dude. What does this guy do? That guy looks awesome. That's it's the sprite work and the um and the animations that just sell it. God damn. That's the, the work that they've done with the animations is just so impressive.
Like, it's insane how good quality they are. It baffles the mind. Also, just the general feel of Fiendfolio. I, I'm really glad a lot of people used um, a mod that added Fiendfolio's pits and Fiendfolio's rocks into the regular game. I'm really glad I never did that because now I get to experience Fiendfolio as like a whole new thing, like in every facet. And I, I really like that. I think I think holding off on doing that was was really good. Taking care of my dude. Eye drops is decent for fire rate, I guess. Not that we need fire rate too much. Menorah is... It's something. I'll take it. It's certainly something. Menorah does something that, that could be very detrimental to ourselves. When we get hit, after that, it increases the amount of shots we fire. So, it's going to lead to some craziness. Right now, we only fire one, but when we get hit, we'll then fire two, and then three. There's three. So, at the minute, we're firing three. Oh, we got some sort of new penny there for a hot moment. Oh, he ate that heart. He gobbled it down. But yeah, now we're firing three bombs. We are firing three bombs. Obviously, it does lower your fire rate with each hit, so it's not, like, insane. But still, with this, it's pretty insane. You had to get me there, didn't you? I'm so glad we're uh, able to shoot through walls at the moment. Now we're firing four. And now we're firing five. Got damn. That room was a bit scary. I'll admit. Crap myself a little bit. I'll admit. Just keep pushing forward and see how this room goes. It does reset once you get a certain amount. Yeah, there was there was there was absolutely no way. In fact, let's redo that room because I feel like I can definitely. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Interesting fact. I don't know if that's a bug, but it seems that Glowing Hourglass resets Menorah back to one, which is actually not a bad thing. I kind of like that. We have a lot and a lot and a lot of purple hearts right now, which means that when we take damage, we take a lot of damage. Damn you. Get over here. Got him. Yeah, so we can reset Minora whenever we want with that, which is probably a bug, but a bug that I'm definitely fond of for right now, at least. Gotcha. Oh, come on now. Gotcha. We can use the... Uh, I just noticed. Ooh, puzzle piece. Nice. A stranger. Um, We can use the um little fire things to, like, boost our bomb. So if we throw a bomb, it goes this far, look. But if I double tap, it like launches it really far because it uses one of those fire wisps. That's really cool. Nice little added bonus to that. Yeah, these guys were not very happy. Those little ones die off very fast. Another puzzle piece. A stranger will take... A stranger will take. Well, yeah, doing very well for money. I really like the new designs for all these pills as well. It's got to be said. Okay, that I cannot fire over, apparently. I'm very scared of you. Holy... Oh my god, that room. <laughs> Got me on my on the edge of my seat right there. Oh god, leeches. Whoa, that's a new hurst. That's a new hurst. What the hell? It's a dank hurst. Hey, last piece of the puzzle. A stranger will take you. The Bible. Thank you. It's what I've always wanted. 
Some of those puzzles, I think, are normally a little bit harder than that. Ooh, tinted rock. We also got a cracked key here, which I will take. Did I take some damage there? Them scares me a little. It's these spiders that scare me, the little jumpy jack boys. Okay, crack key, just pop it here. Why not? Why why does sometimes they go through walls and other times they don't? Nice one, my little fellas. There's another door here. It's not on the map, which leads me to believe it's an error room. We haven't been to our boss yet, so let me go to the rooms I haven't been to, then I'll come back to that. Ooh, new item. B-Skin. Every tier of fire triggers three weaker tiers spread evenly around the player. Each time this effect triggers the angle of all tiers. This sounds terrible. I should take it. If it's, if it's our tiers, then we're fucked. Okay, no. It doesn't seem to do anything with this, which is good. Because my god, if it did, we'd be having problems. We also now look like we have flight, because we have little B-Wings, but we don't actually have flight. <laughs> okay. Let me quickly zoom back to the boss. There's going to be a little bit of backtracking here, unfortunately. I should have just done the boss while I had the chance earlier. <clears throat> it's new room. Copy. 512. Hell yes. Oh, it's bicycle land. No, it did it. It did it. Fuck. No. No. That's so bad for us. That's so bad. Corn. Uh, wavy orbital. Orbital that shoots weak explosions. Uh, familiar that teleports and chases enemies. Familiar that teleports and shoots explosive corn. Give me that corn, boy. We also got Star of Bethlehem. Hell yes. So there's going to be a few of those moments that I would like to call... I would like to dub these as oh no moments. Where um, every now and again... We get, we take damage, guaranteed. <laughs> it's uh, it's quite an issue. It's it's a it's a problem that I live with every day. It's it's part of me. I feel like um, it's something that I have to I have to put up with. And it seems that Menorah is going to keep triggering on it too, right? What does this door take us to? Error room? No, just super secret room. Oh my lord. Oof. Magoof. This is going to be an issue. <laughs> this is going to be the biggest of issues. I'm going to need explosive immunity. Pronto. Like, real heckin' fast. Okay, that time... It didn't do it that time, and I I don't know why. Is it something to do with Menorah? The sun. I was hoping for an error room teleport there. Either way, I don't know what's causing that, but it scares me deeply. I am deeply scarred by what happens whenever our bombs trigger. Oh, Lord. It's fun, though. Right, let's keep her going. I do want to go Mausoleum. I, I think I should go for a Mother Run next run. Yeah, it's 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 virtually impossible for us to actually not get hit. That is a cool looking chest right there. Hey, that's one of mine. Give me that back. That's some bullshit right there. What is this? It just had some enemies in it. Ah! It blew me up. You... It's a fiend chest. You dick. I think we have an expiry date. If I was to guess...
I'm not exactly sure why it happens sometimes and doesn't others. I think I'm just going to have to keep using Glowing Hourglass to make sure I don't ever get Minora procced. Because with Minora, it, it, things happen. No, it doesn't matter. Apparently, it, it doesn't matter. Minora is not the cause. We have learned that today. Do you know what I would really just appreciate right now, game? Bomb immunity. It's asking a lot, I realize. But I feel like you've kind of screwed me on this one. And I kind of, you kind of owe me it. Because, like, I mean, like, is there a reasonable way in which I meant to dodge that? Is there, is there game? Because I don't feel like there is. I mean, it, it definitely kills everything, which is good. Acid Baby, don't feel like it's it. Maybe without Bomber Boy, there's like a non-zero chance. But otherwise, this is rough. I mean, we're somehow holding on. That's all I can say right now. We are somehow holding on. Is that Fool's Gold Rocks? Ooh, they've got custom Fool's Gold Rocks. I don't even know what to say. Pop your head up. Pop your head up. Oh my god. When I go into a new room and I fire, and it doesn't spew out a thousand shots, I am grateful. We never know when it's coming. When I find health, I am grateful. I need regular health as well. Like a black heart or something. Dude, can you, like, let my babies kill you, please? You're being a real nincompoop right now. Uh, brick separator. Activates meat cleaver effect, splitting all of the room into two smaller versions. Grants piercing for the room. That's pretty interesting. Is that, is, oh, that's just like a consumable. I see. Um, grants an increasing amount of damage on tears when you rhythmically, uh, when used rhythmically. Okay. Um, damage on tears gradually goes away if the item's not being used. That sounds good, but that sounds like a lot of work for someone that is imminently close to death imminently close to death please be more hp in here there is a dude here though he is going to take our trinket and he is going to take our trinket he's also going to take the rosary and he's going to meld them into two oh okay He's like a little recycler. I like him. Thank you, boy. Let's give him that one. Okay, we can't. We can only do it once. Wait, what? Where'd the lips go? I don't know. Anyways, happy enough with that. Oh my god! It didn't split into a thousand bombs. It's crazy. No! <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> I don't even know what to say here. Boss time. Let's go. Stand in here and hope I don't take damage. It didn't, it literally didn't do any damage to Mum. I somehow lived to see another day. Take me to the womb. That'll teach me for taking an item that I don't know what it does. Or how it works, should I say. 
Yeah, I think now that we're on the womb, we are 100% fucked. Like, this is true devastation right here. Thank you for my hearts back, game. I managed to get out of the way of that one. That one, not quite as much luck. We only have a single buddy left. I think we're done here. One last little buddy to take us on our journey. I could try and bomb our way through Ruse, but I feel like that's just a futile an effort as everything else, to be honest. I don't even know what happened there. We tried. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I took an item I definitely shouldn't have taken, which is my own bad, but <laughs> I feel like you have to do these things. You have to make these mistakes at least once. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.